Hi, this is George Woodbury from College of the Sequoias in Visalia, California. And in this video I'll be talking about graphing linear equations by plotting points. Here's the procedure we're going to follow. We'll select three different values for x. We'll substitute each of those values for x in the equation to find the corresponding y coordinate. Then we'll finish by plotting the three ordered pairs and drawing the straight line that passes through them. Here's the first example y equals 3x plus 6. In this case, the three values I'll select for x are 0, 1, and 2. In general, if there are no fractions involved in the equation, these are good choices for x. I'll substitute 0 for x into the equation and find that y equals 6, so my first ordered pair is 0, 6. Next, I'll substitute 1 for x and get y equals 9, so the ordered pair is 1 comma 9. Finally, when I substitute 2 for x, I get 12 for y, so my third ordered pair is 2 comma 12. On my math lab, we'll plot the first two points, 0, 6, and 1, 9, in order to graph the line. Then we can use our third point, 2, 12, to check the accuracy of our line. Here's the process on my math lab. Okay, here we go. Here's our example, y equals 3x plus 6. And I'm going to begin by enlarging the graph, clicking this button here. My first ordered pair was 0, 6. To put that on the graph, I'm going to click the line tool, go to the location of my first ordered pair, 0, 6. Notice in the upper right hand corner of the window, it shows the coordinates of the point you're plotting. So here we go, 0, 6. Click and I've locked in my first point. To graph the second point at 1 comma 9, I move 1 to the right and then up by 3 until I get to a height of 9. Click again. Recall that my checkpoint was 2 comma 12 and I can tell from the graph that 2 12 does lie on the line so everything seems to be in order. I'm going to go ahead and save this. Check my answer. Fantastic. Okay, let's move on to another example. In our second example, we'll graph the line y equals 4 thirds x plus 1. Notice the coefficient of the x term is a fraction. In such a case, we want to choose our x coordinates wisely. In this example, I'm going to select 0, 3, and 6 for x. Because when I multiply 4 thirds by these three numbers, I'm left with an integer result. It's easier to plot points involving integers than it is involving points uh, to plot points involving fractions. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to substitute 0 for x. 4 thirds times 0 is 0. Adding 1, I get a y coordinate of 1. So 0, 1 is my first ordered pair. When I substitute 3 for x, 4 thirds times 3 is equal to 4. Adding 1 gives me 5 for a second order pair of 3 comma 5. Finally, when I substitute 6 for x, 4 thirds times 6 is 8. You can think of that as 4 times 6 is 24, divided by 3 is 8. Or, you can divide the common factor of 3 out of 3 and 6, which leaves you with 2 times 4, also 8. When I add 1 to this result, I get 9, so my third ordered pair is 6 comma 9. On my math lab, I'm going to go ahead and plot the first two points, 0, 1, and 3, 5, to graph the line. Then I'll use my third point, 6, 9, to check the accuracy of the line. Here's the way the process looks on my math lab. Okay, here's the equation again, y equals 4 thirds x plus 1. I'm going to begin by enlarging the graph and plotting my points using the line tool at 0, 1, and 3, Five. Remember that my third order pair was 6 comma 9. 6 comma 9 would be right here which lies on the line. Everything seems to be in order so I'm going to save this graph and I'm going to check my answer. Nice work. Okay, this wraps up our video covering graphing linear equations by plotting points. Keep in mind there are two other techniques for graphing linear equations that will be covered shortly. Graphing using the x and y intercepts and graphing using the slope of the line with the y-intercept. 
If you have any questions or comments on this topic or any others, please visit the contact page at my website, georgewoodbury.com. Thanks and good luck.